We've got a solution. We've got a secret Santa system that does actually work. Okay, what you do now, if you want the perfect secret Santa setup, you create a series of cards. The cards are kind of split in two. And at the top of the card, you write, you are number four. And on the bottom of the card, you write, you are buying for number four. So whatever the number is on top, the same number is on bottom. So you do lots of cards, you do one for each person. So if you've got 20 people, you write 20 cards. If you've got whatever three people, you write three cards. You get all of these cards, you lay them on a table, shuffle them all around so you have no idea what order they're in. And then when you're happy that they're neatly shuffled, you go along with a pair of scissors and cut the cards in two. So now you have no idea what cards are next to each other and you're kind of cutting along the line. And those scissors that everyone draws in school, how do they do them like that? There you go. <laughs> That's my scissors. That's all right. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah. But you go along and you cut them all up. Now at that point, you can create your derangement. And you can do that just by shifting the top half of all of the cards along by one. By doing that, you're guaranteeing that the number on the top of the card isn't going to match the number on the bottom of the card. So you've definitely got a derangement, definitely got a secret Santa system that works. But also, because you shuffled them, you have no idea what numbers are matching with what numbers. So the next step, everybody who's playing the secret Santa comes along, picks up a new whole card, so top and bottom half that are now matched up together. Say you pick one up and it says, you are number three and you're buying for number 27. Then the final thing that happens is that you write a list of all of the numbers, put it on the wall of the office or whatever. Everyone then comes along, they know what number they are because the card that they've picked up will have told them. And then they come along and then they write their name. Everyone now knows their own number, they know the person they're buying for, but they have no idea who else is buying for anyone else in the Secret Santa system. And everyone has an equal chance of buying for everybody else. Stick or switch. Well, a remarkable thing about this problem, simple as it is, is that it has sparked just endless debate. In the time of the show, I don't recall anybody ever saying there was a dedicated strategy that you should always follow.